hanging by a thread. If you look back at history, we often have no idea where we are going. The biggest and most impactful events that have happened in history happened out of randomness due to unforeseen circumstances that lead to total mayhem. Every single event in history could have been different just because a few small meaningless decisions were made. In 1933, a man named Giuseppe Zangara fired five shots, with one hitting the then mayor of Chicago, Anton Chermak. The actual intended target was Franklin D. Roosevelt, who eventually became President of the United States and implemented the New Deal. When studying history, we know how the story ends but we don't know how it started. How did World War II start? Well, we have to understand what happened at the end of World War I. But what started World War I? On and on. Every event that has occurred or will occur is a result of a prior event. Every event and its possible future events create profound impacts on the world and should humble us in our prediction of the future. Risk is what you don't see. We are good at planning the future, that of course without the sudden surprises that matter more. Planning well ahead into the future is a good habit, but we are almost always bad at predicting the big risks. Preparations for these risks are difficult because no one will expect them. And if no one expects them, then no one will prepare for it. And if no one prepares for it, then the impacts will be devastating. An example of this is during May 4, 1961, when NASA launched American Victor Prater 113,720 feet into the air with hot air balloons to test out their new spacesuit. The mission was a success. However, after landing into the ocean and preparing to board a helicopter, he fell into the ocean. Well, this shouldn't be a problem except that Prater's space helmet was open and this caused water to rush in and he drowned. Out of all the circumstances that NASA had planned for, they lost an astronaut to due to a small unforeseen mistake. The harsh truth is that there is nothing we can do about this. Things happen because they happen. But setting expectations that risk will arrive can help better prepare us for the inevitable, rather than relying solely on our forecasts. Expectations and Reality The lower your expectations, the happier you are. Happiness is strongly dependent on human expectations. The lower your desires are, the happier you can be. With the increasing quality of life in the modern world, our expectations increase too, if not more because of the comparisons we make with others, which circumstances we are usually focused on. The world might be getting better, but happiness is one thing that has little growth. A particular cause for this is the ability for today's economy to generate wealth. Wealth that people can show off, and envy for the wealth that people can show off. Envy is a useful tool because it allows us for the monitoring of progress. The modern world is vastly improving with higher incomes, bigger homes, and more people having wealth, but our expectations keep inflating. Lowering our expectations, however, does feel like giving up and dissipating your potential, while making motivation hard to distinguish with expectations. To get around this issue, realizing that wealth and happiness is related to what you currently have and need can help in realizing we focus on wanting more while neglecting the management of our expectations. Wild Minds Your role models think of the world the way you like it and the way you dislike it. Some of the traits that your role models have might be something you want to emulate, while some others you will not want to. Many of them you will not want to. One thing we have to realize is that those we look up to tend to think of the world the way we like we also think of the world the way we dislike. And that has to be fully accepted. Because the amazing things that they do cannot be separated from the terrible things that they do. Isaac Newton, often coined the father of modern physics, had made numerous contributions to maths and science. But he also spent most of his work contributing towards alchemy and sorcery. He still did manage to pave a way for future scientists. Someone who is overly optimistic, relentlessly confident in their abilities and charm, are usually the individuals that make it successfully. But realizing that out of all these people, we cannot pick only the aspects of their lives that we want because that wouldn't make them who they are. Do you really want that person's life? Their entire life and not just certain moments of it. Wild numbers. People want certainty, not accuracy. A core behavioral trait in human society is that we often want certainty despite living in a very unpredictable world. The maths of uncertainty is very hard for some people to comprehend and always will be. Evelyn Adams won $3.9 million and $1.4 million four months apart in 1986. She eventually decided to quit to provide people a chance of winning. This was important because it was estimated that her double win was a 1 in 7 trillion chance. 
This was however debunked by two mathematicians three years later. It was stated that this chance was true if only one person was playing. But if 100 million people were playing weekly, which happens in America, then the chances of such wins occurring is actually 1 in 30. If miracle events do exist 1 in a million, then we should experience it once a month. There are 8 billion people on the planet. This miracle event would happen to 8,000 people daily and or about 2.9 million times a year. Incredible things happen quite commonly, but so are disasters. A lot of predictions go for the attempt to rid the feelings of uncertainty to feed the human urge to know that things are going right. Thinking in terms of probabilities is therefore hard, as making people feel at ease is much more soothing than providing hard code numbers. Best stories win. Doesn't matter if you're wrong or right, stories are more important than statistics. Those who can tell great stories that grab the attention of the people are often the ones rewarded in society. Ideas that are old or bad, told compellingly, can trigger entire revolutions, while good ideas explained poorly will go unnoticed. Humans live emotional and busy lives. We don't have time to properly assess which answer is correct or rational. Stories leverage complicated topics. They squeeze out the full potential of it with the least effort. This was how Richard Feynman, often coined the Great Explainer, made so many topics easy for people to understand. The most effective stories to tell are about those that you want to be true, or an extension of your experiences, getting diverse groups of people to focus their attention on a single point. It is also important to ask yourselves about the stories we believe. Who's actually right but we ignore just because they are inarticulate at telling their stories? Who's wrong but we believe because they are just incredibly good at marketing? Does not compute. The world is run by unmeasurable forces. Most things that happen in the world don't make sense. There are loopholes in explanations, the numbers don't add up, and yet crazy things keep happening. People react to those things in bizarre and weird ways that defies all rationality. Historian Will Durant once said, logic is an invention of man and may be ignored by the universe. This can drive us mad if we expect the world to work in rational ways that we think it would. No one could predict the increase of stock from GameStop in 2020 because of the obsessions with Reddit that led to GameStop recovering from a going out of business to be worth 11 billion in 2021. There was no hard data to predict that this could happen. It was simply based on the stories people told themselves, which is hard to quantify. One thing to realize is that innovation and advancements work because we live in a world where everyone's minds work differently. It would be great if there was predictability, consistency, and rationality in the world. But unfortunately, there is not. An idea rational to one might be different to another person. And remember that stories play a larger role in moving the world than statistics do. Calm plants the seeds of crazy. Crazy is normal, beyond crazy is also normal. When life is good, we become overly optimistic. When that happens, we become oblivious to the bad, then we panic and accept bad news. Then we believe it's permanent, then we become oblivious to the good, and you get what I mean. The belief that things are going well will push us towards things that don't go well. It's ironic that paranoia leads us to success because it keeps us aware and wary of dangers. Then we abandon it when we become successful because of the stress. Then as soon as we decline, we start to panic. Realizing that crazy is actually normal and knowing when enough is enough can help us overcome this dilemma. Too much, too soon, too fast. A good idea executed too quickly will become a terrible idea. It's surprising how common it is for people to speed up a process beyond its scale or what it can handle. Whenever people find something that is valuable, they tend to ask a looming question. This is great, but can I have it faster? Most things that exist in the world have a natural size and speed. Anything more than that can backfire quickly. Robert Wadlow was the largest human ever known. He was nearly 9 feet by the time he died at 22. He died due to being too tall as he had high blood pressure in his legs as his heart attempted to pump more blood to them. Upscaling a human 3 times their size isn't going to make them better athletes. Everything has its own natural scale. The most important things in life, ranging from love to careers, is that they gain their value from patience and scarcity. Patience allows something to grow and flourish, while scarcity allows us to admire what it grows into. But the two most common tactics people use to pursue something important 
is to make it faster and bigger, which has always been a problem. When the magic happens, stress helps you focus more. The most important innovations in history are often made at devastating times. You never see investments occurring when everyone is happy. It only happens when people are panicking and that the consequences of inaction are a burden to bear. The car and the aeroplane were probably the most important inventions of the modern world. But more interestingly, people didn't think of commuting to work with cars or planning their next trip with aeroplanes. Instead, they figured, can we make it a weapon? Can it fight in wars? It took decades for people to find the commercial potential of these inventions. In fact, you can find that the biggest innovations all come from the military because they had really big problems that had to be solved immediately, especially during times of war. Stress allows our attention to be diverted to the important problem, shoved right up into your face. It removes all obstacles and forces you to solve the problem, right here, right now. There is a difference between helpful stress and absolutely crippling stress, the latter preventing progress at all. But being careful of what we wish for is a good lesson to take away from history. After all, a stress-free life does sound great, but what about the motivation and progress that's prevented? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more future meaningful content. If you want more advice, I suggest checking out Same As Ever, written by Morgan Hauser.